Today I will be sharing my secret technique for creating beautiful pools of water with fish in them. Hey everybody, Art Jeremiah here again with a second installment of my dungeon build. Um, first off, before I start, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to August McDaniel, who single-handedly brought 400 plus subscribers to my channel by posting my stuff on Reddit and Facebook. And you have no idea how stoked that made me when I saw all you guys showing up on my channel and subscribing. That's just amazing. It's amazing that many people want to see my stuff. Um, I have a lot to come. I really want to finish this dungeon, especially now that I have all you guys watching. So thank you so much for your subscribing and I'm not really going to be posting a certain day of the week. So if you want to hit that bell notification thingy down below, <laughs> please do so and I'll get up as many videos as I can as quickly as I can. Um, yeah, thanks so much. I'll talk more about everything later. First thing we're going to be doing today is mixing up some epoxy resin. Um, this is the crystal clear kind you can just get at the hobby store. I bought my personal little batch here from Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of experience mixing resin, but I really feel like this project turned out well. Um, I've tried some pools before and totally destroyed them. Yeah, they ended up being little bubbling pools of water rather than what I was going for, but I still use them in a game, so it turned out well. Um, to mix them, I just used two small shot cups from the dollar store. I tried my best to get them half and half. It says you have to be exact, but I'm not too sure about how exact you have to be. But I was cautious when I was measuring. Um, I got some stirring sticks from either Starbucks or Einstein bagels. I always grab a few extra when I go there just for crafting purposes. With the first layer of resin that I was pouring, I made sure to keep the cup high and pour just a small stream of water into each of the pools. Uh, I'm not really going to fill up these pools. But I want to do maybe half deep because I want to add some fish to them. Um, I wasn't sure how quick it was going to dry. I didn't really find out anything on the instructions on the box. So I worked fairly quick, but it turned out I could have done it kind of slow because the drying time was quite long so I did a controlled small stream to prevent bubbling as I was stating pouring a little bit high as high as I could with still feeling like I had control and when I finished pouring what I wanted to I took a blow dryer to the surface carefully from a little bit high on the high heat and what it did was bring all the little bubbles to the surface um, it's hard to see, you can't see me blow drying, but that's what I'm doing in this step. I just want to interrupt this video real quick for a second, or for a minute, to let you know I'm doing a giveaway in celebration of around 500 subscribers. I'm hoping to have 500 by the time this video comes out. I'm really close right now. Something like 474 or something like that. So, close enough. So I'm going to give away a Terrain Crate Dungeon Debris set, which I have... In a previous video, um, you want to go back and watch that video, I opened it and reviewed it. And it's an awesome little set, and I'd like to give one of you guys a set. Um, let me know if you are interested in, or not really interested. You can join this giveaway on my Instagram, Twitter, or Patreon. Um, so you can go to my Patreon page and message me. The link, in link is in description that you're interested. Um, that's one way to get involved in this giveaway. And the other way is both on Twitter and Instagram. You can like and tag one person in that post for this giveaway. And that's it. My Patreon, you'll get extra slots if you join. So you might want to do that. I plan on doing more giveaways like this. Well, and you'll give you'll get input on the giveaways I will be doing. So, if there's stuff you want, give me some input on some giveaways. And the bigger this channel gets, the bigger giveaways I can give away. 
And the more supplies I can get, the better everything I can get. I've already invested a little bit of money into better lights and still filming this on my phone, but that's good. So anyway, let me, that's off topic. That's it. Yeah, enter this giveaway. Thank you. Okay, so the next step was painting the fish. And this was honestly the most fun part of this whole build for me. Um, I'd seen it before, seen this sort of thing before, just not on any sort of terrain builds. Um, well, I've been wanting to try it for a while now. And now that I have the clear epoxy resin, I figured this was the time to shine. So first off, I researched some color schemes for my cave fish. I, at first I was gonna go for like a goldfish look and I don't know, I found some cave fish coloring that was pretty good. And yeah, you kind of imagine cave fish being white, but usually they have like a little bit of pinkish or brown to them too. So anyway, I used a Kolinsky sable brush to start laying down the beige fish shapes. Um, I will be working from dark to light going for a cream or off-white color of fish. Um, I'm just using cheap craft paint because it's going to be sealed in with epoxy resin. I'm sure it'll never be penetrated. But anyway, it's somewhat time consuming to do this, but oh, the, end result, the end result was so worth it. Um, the next layer is going to be a beige slash cream mix. Um, this is the middle ground. I always do a dark middle and light coat of paint when I'm doing this kind of thing even when I'm painting my miniatures that's like the go-to so this layer I start adding fins to the fish and they actually start looking like fish it's kind of hard to explain what I did here I just used reference photos so um, if you struggle with getting things to look like fish just pull out some photos and paint what you see um, there's lots of photos of fish from, ab from above um, then I highlight the fish in a light cream color, almost white. I think I did use like a Vallejo off-white for this. Um, I try to leave a lot of the colors underneath showing through. Uh, just to bring color to the whole thing. I like color, so, and I feel like this whole dungeon thing might lack in color, so I want to add as much as I can where I can. This fish... Oh, these fish add a realistic touch to the dungeon and will even cast a shadow on the bottom of the pools which makes the pools look deeper and adds a little bit more realistic effect to the pools. Um, everybody I've shown these pools have been like, oh, that's so cool. Anyway, finally I add little tiny fish to the water just for variation. Um, these are just little white speckles. Um, assuming little maybe fry of the fish fryer baby fish of the fish that are swimming around in these pools please do me a huge favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel because you'll want to see everything that's to come in this dungeon i mean i don't really let that dry very long um, as soon as the paint's dry it's dry and i don't worry about cure times and all that with the paint um, and just a note the previous layer of resin before i painted on it i did let dry overnight just to be careful and then I painted the fish so if you do this just pay attention to your drying time of your resin some resin dries within minutes where you can get that fancy UV resin and just keep layering and layering and get a more 3d effect than what I've got here um, so yeah anyway now I'm pouring the second layer of epoxy resin over the fish and unfortunately I did it blurry um, despite the blur, I used the same process as I did earlier to fill the pools. I cover the fish and now it appears they're actually in water swimming around. Um, I think it's an amazing secret of making pools of water look more pleasing to the eye. Definitely going to be doing it again. I also blow dry the water and again you can't see the blow dryer because I don't want to get too close and splash the resin all over. And like I said, it just gets rid of air bubbles. I saw this technique on another guy's channel sometime in the last year, and I don't remember who it was. Somebody that does realistic terrain. An up-close look at the pools shows that the fish really bring out a lot of interest in this build. 
still not the end of this first room so next time we're going to be adding other stuff to the room fleshing it out hopefully that'll be the final part of this room before i add whatever creatures i'm going to add to this room if any so yeah really hope you enjoyed this video i got more to come so keep watching for more next week we're going to be doing an earth altar a little burn campfire and just completely fleshing out the rest of this dungeon room so you want to see that if you haven't seen my previous episode on building the first part of this dungeon which is this room but the very beginning part you want to go back and watch that and if you haven't seen that well if you have seen that and you haven't seen my plan for this dungeon i definitely recommend going back because i back one step further just go watch the playlist um you'll see my plan for this dungeon and maybe give me some input on which room i should do next i want to be able to do one of the rooms right next to this one so let me know thank you <laughs>